So according to the Washington Post, Donald Trump has been talking with his advisors about whether he should announce that he's running again in 2024. They told him to wait. So right now, Trump is using a strategy of winks and nods. And that is supposed to be an indication, I guess, that he's running without having to formally announce it. But there is one big question hanging over all of that. Following the indictment of his business and its CFO, and with all of the various investigations swirling around Trump himself, could he run for president if he were under indictment? Or is it possible that Trump will once again escape accountability like he's done for basically all his life? Joining me now is Glenn Kirshner. He's a former federal prosecutor and an MSNBC legal analyst. And Glenn, you tweeted this a few days ago, that if the Department of Justice doesn't prosecute Donald Trump, it is giving basically a stamp of approval to his conduct. And that would encourage other politicians on all levels to just act in the same way. It, unpack for us what you mean by that. Like, what would it look like if, you know, Congress people start acting like mini Trumps? Yeah, you know, Zerlina, if you want more crime, then decline to hold the criminals accountable. Decline to bring cases charging the crimes that we know Donald Trump committed. What that is doing is it really is setting a precedent. Now, people would say, you know, precedent is only set when the appellate court hands down an opinion. That is true technically, but there's what I would call atmospheric pre precedent. If the Department of Justice has enough evidence to charge Donald Trump with extorting and bribing President Zelensky or campaign finance violations in a conspiracy with Michael Cohen or obstructing um, Congress by telling all of his executive branch officials do not comply with lawfully issued congressional subpoenas or inciting an insurrection. If the Department of Justice declines to bring any of those criminal charges, they are, in fact, putting their stamp of approval on that conduct. That will serve to encourage tomorrow's corrupt, nefarious politicians to follow the Trump blueprint. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen, and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.